So the KFC Rome beef is a little hard to explain. Malibu's most wanted here is more of a Bucks fan than a Sixers fan at this point, and he's practically Pat Beverly's butler. New York, if you see this man, heckle him. Tell him he has a pointy nose. Tell him he looks like that girl from A League of Their Own. I hate that I had to do it. I hate. I hate that I had to do it. You don't poke the bear. I think he knew that. He knew a diss track was gonna come. I mean, yeah, like I, I, I took a shot at him, but I did not expect this. <laughs> and now I'm in a real pickle. Should have left it alone, bro. That's what I do. Yeah. I left out everything. The KFC Rome beef is a little hard to explain, kind of feels like it came out of nowhere, but basically we got the Knicks and the 76ers going at it in the playoffs right now. Knicks had a big win over the 76ers on Monday. Ben Stiller, a big Knicks fan on Twitter, was tweeting about the Knicks victory. Roan replied to Ben Stiller, and what he just said was just lashing out. He's like, I'm a 76ers fan, they were losing, I got mad. He was like, Ben Stiller, your movie suck. You play the same character every time. The pun, meet the fuckers, is really not that creative. It just sounds like fuckers. So he's going at Ben Stiller hard for being a Knicks fan. Roan's upset. KFC, a big Knicks fan, he sees that and he's like, no, 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 Roan, you're, you're just going at Ben Stiller because you're mad about your 76ers. So he gets Ben Stiller and the New York Knicks back. He makes a one minute man video where he goes, of Roan. We got big news coming out of Philly where this washed up battle rapper named Adam, some of you know him as Pat Beverly's co-host or the third guy on Son of a Boy Dad. Malibu's most wanted here is more of a Bucks fan than a Sixers fan at this point and he's practically Pat Beverly's butler. New York, if you see this man, heckle him. Tell him he has a pointy nose. Tell him he looks like that girl from A League of Their Own. And remind him that nobody's been stiller than Joel Embiid in the fourth quarter. It's a wrap for Adam and the process. Roan replies to that and just says, wow, okay, parroting Ben Stiller's reply to him from a couple days earlier. So it seems like, oh, maybe this is gonna die down. Everybody goes to bed on Monday night, my birthday. They think, oh, what a good day for Tommy's birthday. And then at 1.38 a.m., Roan drops a diss track. I hate that I had to do it. I hate, I hate that I had to do it. Watch the battle rapper reporting for duty. What's up, chicken heads? I got some feathers to be plucking. A three piece here for KFC and soon they'll kick the bucket. No palace in Chicago and no crib up in Nantucket. So I don't see why KFC is doing all this clucking. You got lap, but you still think you're Mario Andretti. You won't win the race just cause your pace is slow and steady. I'm not a battle rapper and this isn't my spaghetti. Free falling on the charts, now I'm really sounding petty. Stuck your neck out when you wish that you had been still. Doughy ass body boy, you look like you got bread pilled. Always number two, so I had to leave him lead filled. Cut him out so bad it might remind him of that pen deal shit on lena dunham now you're looking like some fresh milk you don't exercise but your career is on that treadmill don't get shit confused yeah don't get it misconstrued frank the tank is now bigger and skinnier than you yeah nate's more likable dave's more bright than you all your guests moved to pmt is that surprising you check their bank accounts like you could compare i don't know what's more diluted kevin you or your shares your career's trajectories a boomerang makes Quit the combine, couldn't make it through the rat race. Yeah, dude's in last place with this stupid ass face. Think you should be on radio with your boomer ass takes. The GM of comedy is actually a clown. Just like GM, he almost got the factory shut down. Nothing corny as some bloggers training words in the booth. But even KFC knows that part has a kernel of truth. But have another meltdown and tell us you were kidding. Rewrite the history to spin it how we're winning Go get caught up in the hype Screaming all up in the mic Your show's a hockey game, bro They only watch it for the fights Left out the divorce That's not the ammo that I needed Cause in reality It's all the fans that's getting cheated You step to the throne Try messing with Rome Man, fuck KFC He should've left it alone He should've left it alone, bro Hey! He should've left it alone. You come for the fucking king, you best not miss. Oh, shit. That's wow. what I do. Yeah. I left out everything. <laughs> the thing is, I know I'm a loser. I know I'm a loser. But I'll stop at nothing to take all you down with me. That's on Rome's distraction. 
on Rowan's diss track, I have not heard yet. Oh. Yet either. Holy shit, we got a response to KFC. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Not immediately. Yeah, yeah, not Holy yet. shit. I mean, no. Uh, there's nothing worse than just getting, like, emasculated, especially in a diss track. A diss track is just the worst way to get fucking torn apart. It was good, though. Bars. It was great. Yeah, it was, it was uh, Fire Flames Bars. I, I kind of had a five-month run as the self-anointed uh, best rapper at Barstool. Um, I think Rowan may have taken that back from me. Um, so whatever. It's kind of hard to listen to, honestly. That was a little too real. I mean, it was awesome. I guess it's not a washed up battle rapper anymore. Should only came at him. Should have left him alone. I think Kevin would agree, and I don't know if you've asked him about it yet. You don't poke the bear. I think he knew that. He knew a diss track was going to come if he kept tweeting at him. It's almost like Kevin did us a service by getting a, a Roan diss track. But yeah, it was vicious. I would never, I'm, whenever I see Roan, I'm as nice as I can be to him because I know he can just rip you to shreds. We love the uh, battle rap, it's good, yeah. good for business. Yeah. Um, awesome. Uh, I just, I mean, he's a, a lyrical genius, we knew that. I'm interested to see how Kevin responds. I'm just uh, watching the show, I don't really even have a side, to be completely honest. I've already battle rapped Kevin. I know that's what I'm saying. I, I'm 1 0 against him. So it's now. Like yeah, I have one of the best battle raps of all time. Ebony, did you see Ron's diss track of KFC? Yeah, he flamed the fuck out of him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that old n deserved that shit. Ron's diss track, wow. Um, I've known Ron has been an absolute lunatic since he tried to put needles in my seat. He put needles in my pins in my seat as an April Fool's joke. If I would have sat on it, it would have like went through my dick. Like it would have been the craziest thing of all time. It would have went up my asshole. Um, ever since I heard that, ever since I knew that, I don't mess around. He's like, like KFC knew what was coming. You, you don't poke the bear. You need to chill. You go kill that man. <laughs> I can't believe he talked shit about what's up with him. Well, that's dry. Like what's, what's up with that? And I showed him nothing but love when I first met him. He talking about I'm overpaid. What the fucking hottest pie in bars do? Is he silly? Is he fucking silly? Like seriously, we supposed to be on the same team and like say some shit like that. Like he don't got a following. Like why? Why what type of shit is that? Why you want to create drama? And he go say that about me. Like what type? What, what type of shit is that? That shit's corny as hell. He said I was your butler. That's like that's weird and corny as hell. I'm not your butler. Like come on, bro. We got real shit popping over here. Goes to show, don't don't make any moves with Roan. That, that man's a terrifying, terrifying guy. The last thing I want to do is wake up at two, you know, two, three, four a.m. with a diss track about you. No thanks. Rat Race got a shout out. The did. show dropping today. Did did Rat Race did get a shout out. Thank you, bro. Yeah, you're you're crazy to bring up Roan in any any type of fashion going at him. Uh, you're just asking to you're asking to get murdered, and the mur there was a murder. I think that one of the best lines was, uh, I think he called it like a hockey. What did he call it like a hockey? Yeah, yeah. He's like, you're like, yeah. So it was about, about fights. It was a play on words and fights. Yeah, he's he's the best, and he's still he's still got it. There's getting called fat, and then there's getting called fat through rhymes, and getting called fat through rhymes is just ten times worse. <laughs> I feel like right now it's not like a real beef, um, but I mean, then like if KFC responds to this track of his own, which he has the the history of, then. I don't know, like, you want to get into a battle rap with a battle rapper, I don't know, so maybe KFC goes with a podcast response or a blog response. Right now, I feel like it's just guys throwing jabs, so I don't think it's real yet. I don't know. Um, I saw it on Instagram and instantly scrolled past it, so I didn't have to watch, and that's what I've done on Twitter, too. <laughs> so you just ignored it? Did you listen to Ron's diss track? No, I didn't listen to Ron's diss track. No. No. Do you would would you watch your friend fight a grizzly bear? I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I <laughs> <laughs> like, did you expect this? No. I don't no. Any, no. I asked you about it on stool scenes yesterday, or I, and I was like, I was like, Daily, have you listened? And I was like, no. And they were like, why? And I was like, well, would you watch your friend fight a grizzly bear? <laughs> like, <laughs> um, I mean, I, I, but listen, I saw yours I, I, too. Yeah, I, I guess if that. I mean, it's like if when, you walk to a basketball court and Michael Jordan was playing, and you're like, hey, dude, you suck. And he'd be like, well, let's fucking go. I mean, yeah, like I, I, I took a shot at him, but I did not expect this. <laughs> and now I'm in a real pickle. I did text Kevin and I told him that he has to change the arena. Like you can't go back with a battle rap. I suggested opera. He said, no, I think uh, I said a dance number. If you just do a dance number with no words, no music, just like 
no one will know who won or lost. They'll be so confused. Probably a little disgusted that. Do not go to change the narrative a little bit. <laughs> My immediate reaction was like, let's go. I'm, I'm like Mick. I'm like, he doesn't want to fucking fight you. He wants to kill you. <laughs> like, well, that's the other thing. So I texted him being like, if I respond, is this thing going to really go south? And I expected him to be like, nah, like, you know, have fun with it. Let's do our thing. And he was like, I'll empty the tank. So I was like, <laughs> <laughs> well, Pink Whitney. Go to your local bar, get a nice shot of Pink Whitney, mix it with something else. There's even, for your pre-games, get the 1.75 liter bottle of Pink Whitney. You bring this to your party, you're going to be the coolest guy, the curlest, coolest girl at your party. Get your shots, get anything with Pink Whitney. It's the best in the game. Go buy it. We have Meek Phil, who lives at home with his mother. And then you got Smitty, who's a father of two, three, whatever it is, and trying to just... Get through the day, and you've got Phil just pounding on him all day about the Knicks and the Sixers. And it all starts on Pick Central, where they just fight. I'm gonna get your ass on Pick Central. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, is our mic's out? Are our mic's out? Okay, yeah, I can hear it. I hear it. Did Smitty break something by just being a loser? I admit that! Your he's, MVP's a loser! He he's can't not play. a loser. He's not he, a, he was a full plus one like, over 44 minutes! Yeah. He can't score in the fourth quarter! He's a character you can't recreate. He's he's a gremlin under a bridge that can really get under your skin. If we can't have, like, if I'm not allowed to answer with facts, <laughs> And Nick just yells. Oh, I mean, I'm giving you facts. You sound like me last week. He played the entire second half and got outplayed. He couldn't grab a rebound. He's 7 1 360. What does he do? I can't compete with somebody just yells louder and thinks he's right. Yeah, I, I, I am think. right. You're the one down 3 1. I think Phil can break him. He has broken him. Like, I've seen him lose his mind. Sometimes when you see Phil say something to you that's so demeaning towards you. You're like, how is this guy saying this to me? And I've been there before, but I think Smitty will break. Why are you just looking at the fucking ball? Yeah, you know, Why? Shut up, Meek. Yeah, you know, jo Shut up. No, Joel Embiid could have got more than one rebound. No, Embiid can ass play. He can't fucking move. Yeah, 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 he got legs. He played 30 dollars in effective minute. You're yelling, you're yelling at. Oh, the guy's been a loser's entire fucking career. Oh God, you've been a loser your entire life, Meek. You like the fucking Knicks and Mets. Look at you. Look at you. Get some milk. Get some milk for Meek. Get some milk for Meek. Get some milk for Meek. Have him take it in Indianapolis 500 victory lap. The rivalry between both of them is one that I didn't see coming, but basically the whole Pick Central team hates each other, so another one will form a woman. And then Meek Phil has been dummying, dummying and dummying Smitty on the streams non-stop. I'm Those confident. Smitty's not here yet. Ten minutes, they'll tip off. I don't have a watch. I'm just looking at my wrist, but you know, you know, Smitty could have been here for, for the start of the game, and he's not here yet. Oh, we feel good. Sixers are at home. I'm the only one here. I'm in the Lions' den. They're playing in South Philly, so naturally I come a block away from the garden to deal with these knickerbockers. Yeah, like I said, I'm in the lion's den. Look, look, at, look at the season and uh, lifelong Knicks fans here. You have Packers and Knicks fan Eric Hubs. You have uh, Meek Mill, who uh, graciously came from under his bridge today. And you have Frank the Tank, who has been a Knicks fan for about six months since the next move to Brooklyn. He already injured one of the players this year, so yeah, I'm excited to be here. It's a 1A player right there. Knicks had the ball for the last 50 seconds. Well, he can rebound the ball. It's exactly what I just fucking said. We'll say it again. Are they boxing out? Rebound! Box out! Fundamentals! And he box out in game two, it's 2 1 Sixers right now. Well, it's not. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! I didn't see Jalen limping off, so it very much depends on what's going on there. Feeling good though. Smitty left the room, coward, Philadelphian, typical, disgusting. Like we want Jalen Brunson to be okay. No right. way we want to beat the best. You don't. A hundred percent I want to be okay. He's taking a piss. hundred percent. Oh, you want to go jacket off too? Oh! 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 Every single person in this game. I would be one Knicks fan. Yeah, I'd be one Knicks fan. I would hope you have home fans at your whole playoff. No, but you're making it your entire narrative. The entire game. It's not true. 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 It's not true
Sorry. Point out These man. Cowboy no, fans were scoring baskets. Sorry. That guy having batters in your fucking arena. <laughs> Tell him that. Go. Tell him, Meek. Dog. This is my house, boy. What Best player dog. on the fucking card right now! Are your fat ass centers out there doing nothing? He should have jumped to buy his hands in the clutch! The Philly fans made a bargain off their tickets, so good for them. Yeah, yeah sure. You know what? That's huge. Hey, the man turned the prop to go off the game. Some scalper made $170 on these tickets. Congrats. Like seafood dinner. Yeah, made profit. Take the wife out after the loss. Yeah. Yeah. But then you add, like, Ev in the back. Then you got Rico in the back, and it's just like these misfits of Knicks fans. And then you got Smitty by himself on the stream. And Smitty's in hell because Roan's back and forth in Milwaukee, Max is in Chicago. It's, it's tough scenes for Smitty right now. Knicks have five, like we said on the Just how we drew it up. Philly! Oh, just how we drew it up. It's Philly. They take one in Philly. Oh, we don't want this matchup. Oh, the Sixers, they're so good. The hardest seven seed of all time. Oh. Yeah. Smitty, how do you guys are. Hope you guys are happy. How do you not punch Phil? How do I not punch Phil? I told I told you this before game one when he said he was gonna be in my ass. This is what the Sixers have done to me over the past decade plus. It is waves on the beach. It is the the, the, the initial start of the process. It's the firing of Sam Hinkie. It's Brian Colangelo coming in. It's the large collars finding new slant. It's Okafor. It's getting dicked out of Jason Tatum and trading up to get Markel Fultz. It's it's Ben Simmons. It's Brett Brown. It's Doc Rivers. It's Elton Brand giving Tobias Harris a contract. It's it's losing as a number one seed to Atlanta Hawks who sucked in 2021. It's James Harden. You think Meek Phil is going to be the one that ends me? No. If anything, Tristan Quick was close. Meek Phil, he'll be under his bridge for right. with this bottle of milk. Game today came down to one thing. Who wanted it more, Meek Phil or Smitty? And Meek wanted it more. That's the guy that got Winners it. win, losers lose. Where you cut that? Winners win, losers lose. <laughs> Man, I mean, so I, I, I played 40 minutes out there. We might not cut that. We might not cut that. We might leave that one. <laughs> I, I played 48 minutes out there. I gave Smitty hell. I got in his ass. <laughs> and Meek's fucking on the Knicks bed tonight. Do it to him, Meek. <laughs> I mean, we just wanted more. Honestly, this should have been a sweep if Joel Embiid wasn't Kurt Angle and just <laughs> took out Mitchell Robinson, but this was at our end at our place. The Sixers are trash. They're soft. We want it more. Knicks in five. It's game five. It's a must win. It's at home. Like, I tried to spin zone it with, with like, the Knicks fans being there. That just shoots me right in the dick. I'm surrounded by 20 jabronis who probably watched some of them probably watched five Knicks games in the last five years. And the Sixers do what they do every year. So it is what it is. Not much more. Now it's game five. And let me tell you, these Knicks fans were like, oh, it's over. The Knicks close out in five. There'll be an absolute just mayhem a block away outside the garden. Knicks in five. Anymore. You, you see this? You see this on my face? Yeah. I woke up this morning, my eye swollen shut. I went to the doctor and I had a sty or whatever some shit it is. You know what a sty is? No. It's you. It's a <laughs> white head on the inside of your eyeball. It's a pimple. Yeah. That's what I have right now. Sounds like a serious it's a problem. fucking manifestation of you. No, you guys won the first quarter again. Like you have all series. You're not winning. No. We want the harder path. Then why, why are you being an insufferable dickhead? Because it's Smitty. Well, like Michael Jordan said, you could do the best shit talking when you're down. Just hang up on him? Yeah. Oh, that's me. Push off. Yo, let's go! I got it! Yes! 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 Come on! So, yeah, look. It was going great for the Knicks. Going great for the Knicks fans. Up seven with 30 seconds left. And then the Rico Bosco music happens. Oh, oh yes! yes. Yeah, that's good. Godless. Oh, okay. oh my God. Come on. Godless. I feel like they missed a lot good of off. free throws. Good you off. don't want the big moment. It's Godless. <laughs> Both teams have been shooting like 60, 70% of the Do you know basketball at all? Yeah, he's Godless. He's Godless? <laughs> you don't want the big moment. Some winners, winners always want the ball. Oh. A few moments later. Oh, no, no! no!
Oh no! Oh my god! No. What the fuck was that? No! No fuck. Hey, wait, 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 wait a second. Rico Bosco said Tyrese Maxey's not a gamer. No, that's no what he said. He said he's a coward. He doesn't want he doesn't want the ball in crunch time. Rico Bosco, oh, expert where's, where's basketball announcer. That's what he said about for. Tyrese Max. He's clearly behind. He just starts yelling, Tyrese Maxey, gutless, gutless, he doesn't care, gutless. The man had 38 points at this time. He had 38 points when he called him gutless. The second after he hit, calls him gutless, and won three. Then a three from half court, basically, and then buries him in overtime. Oh my oh, god. That wasn't even close. Oh, there. That wasn't even close. He's gutless. He's gutless. No. He's gutless. He doesn't want the ball. Tyrese Maxim is a free throw. How can you say that about Josh Hart now? Click the rest, Josh. He's gutless. How has it gone yeah. since Rico Bosco called Tyrese Maxi gutless? That was. How has it gone? And that's all time. Jack, can you do a TikTok? Yeah, you can do a TikTok. You're going to turn? We're in overtime. I'm not turning on you. You just said Maxi wasn't a gamer, then he just scored seven points. <laughs> and he's a chucker. He's flinging. That shot made no <laughs> sense. <laughs> That shot made no sense. Nah, no, Nato says that. Oh, so somebody, say, somebody, say, somebody say he's a gamer. He wants it. Right he's not gutless. That's what you said. Say he's gutless. Say he rattled off 20 right down your dick. I can't believe that's that. You're on, Ron. What happened? What happened to me? It's going to overtime, Ron. What? Yeah. Well, Rico Bosco called Tyrese Maxi gutless, and he scored seven points in like 10 <laughs> seconds. Scored seven points in ten seconds after Rico called him gutless. I mean, let's talk to you. I mean, there's nothing to talk about. Rico just cost the Knicks possibly the series. <laughs> the Knicks had him. They were stepping on the throat, talking shit, doing everything. The Rico calls Tyrese Maxey gutless, and look what happens. He is seventy points. Forty-four feels like seventy. Might as well be seventy. Yeah. You ever 50? You put up a 50 burger, you're calling him cutlass. <laughs> it's not like you had 10 points before you said that. You had like 40. <laughs> uh, good after Nick. Well done. Maybe you can close out on Thursday. But if not, if not, we'll see you game seven as well, back at the garden. Let's so get your spirits up. You're up three to two. You're up three to two, boys. Remember, Embiid stinks. Tyrese Max, he's a nobody. Six is a nothing. Thank you, Thank it's you, like Rico. I'll a moron. Shut up. That was a good stream. No, I'm talking about the most ridiculous shot. No, 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 no. That was a good stream. You're electric. You put in the electricity. All right. That's, like, that's the type of stuff you put in your back pocket at contract time. We'll get the Wawa bread for a week. No Deets and Watson. They're saving up so they can go to the game. <laughs> Fucking losers. Bosco, What's up? did you uh, mush the Knicks last night? Potentially. Also, I mean, Josh Hart throwing the ball out of bounds. Josh Hart missing a free throw. Brunson missing a free throw. Letting the guy get in his head. Fucking Oubre. Uh, yeah, potentially. Do you think you mushed him just for a game or the whole series? We'll see. But uh, right now, it's the whole series. Is that good? Or go, go, into the, go into the hallway and then come out. Alright, yeah, you're good. Hey, Trey. What's up, Nate Tom? Tom A. Hey. hey. Great to see you. Give me a hug. You came in just for my birthday? Happy birthday. Thank you. Wow. Happy so birthday. good to see you. Great, so great to, see to see you. See yeah, I figured I'd make an appearance and I'd say happy birthday to you in person. Wow. Yeah. Just when I was out on you. I know. <laughs> We've had a rocky relationship the last two rocky weeks. The last couple of weeks, wow. but uh, no, this is good redemption. What number is it? How old are you? What a weird way to ask how old you're turning. Uh, 28. This is why I hate what you. What number is it? I don't think that's that crazy. What number is this funny one? <laughs> All right. I want to take my hug back, but I won't. <laughs> I won't do it. And cut. Yeah, and see. Good stuff. You know, what's yeah, a, yeah. You know what's speaking of like, speaking of you being like, um... <laughs> Love you too. See you soon. Bye. Bye. A little FaceTime from Spider and Ebo. <laughs> Got the, everybody that was there to wish me happy birthday besides Frankie. Frankie, yeah, tight little ass. 
He always is playing hard to get. No, you know, 28. Um, you know, I feel older. I feel emotionally mature in a lot of ways. Um, but yeah, 27, 28, you know, I'm in my late 20s. Still, I'm still so young. That's the most important thing to remember. I'm still so, so young. I'm not old at all. I'm even close to being old. So I'm still so young. I have my whole youth ahead of me. And I don't need to settle down. I don't need to, I don't need to settle down and you know, everything is good. So I don't need to settle down or anything. And I can still go out and party a bunch and that's fine. Cause it's fine. Cause I'm only 20. But actually looking back at some of my old birthday tweets in 2019, Meek wished me a happy birthday when he wasn't even working here. Yeah. I've always been a Tommy guy. Yeah. I haven't mentioned any, I, I'm trying to craft the perfect birthday tweet. Oh, now. that is your thing. Yeah. I mean, who can forget in 2019, this tweet legendary. You should FaceTime Dave. <laughs> no, he really doesn't like birthdays. I said, I absolutely hate when people send out a tweet suddenly implying that it's their birthday just so people can wish them a happy birthday. He won't catch me doing that today. An absolute classic of yeah. anger, the perfect tweet. Can I? What? Are you carrying basketball? Yeah, yeah, and I'm playing a lot for my birthday. Well, you, I, I can promise you one thing. You'll def clenched. You will definitely play. Yeah, we're playing. You, I, I we got nothing to lose. Well, we have CDs to lose, as well as an undefeated record, but... Yeah, I'd be feeling like Tommy's birthday. If not, yeah, I wanna wait, play wait, I'm already over I, it. I, 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 I hope you can play right 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 That's all we're gonna hear about all day. I, I did not hear it was Tommy's birthday. Yeah. Tommy is a guy who could be 21, also could be 36, so it's good that he has. He's still a young man in my eyes, but my eyes are fucking just about gone from drugs and alcohol. We might have the birthday tweet. People who celebrate their half birthdays are so weird to me. I can't even remember what I did for my last half birthday, and then in parentheses, exactly six months ago today. Let's get, exactly let's get Dana's months, happy birthday. Exactly yeah. six months ago today. Your birthday? Yes. Look, what else are you coming over here for? <laughs> you weren't so, bringing him a bag over? <laughs> just saying what's up, man. How old? 28. I'm old as fuck. No, Still slinging beer tweets. Yeah, that's the best. <laughs> that's <laughs> How old are you? How old are you? Okay. So you made it. You didn't kill yourself. I could say I've never wanted to ask for attention, but I do think today is worth celebrating. It's the five year anniversary of this tweet. Wow, time flies. I think we run that back as many years as you can. No? Yeah. But then it's like, right, do people remember that? Because it's been on so many. You run it back until you're 30, and then 30, you change it up. So you have two more, two more years. Two more, ju two more years of juice out of this one. Yeah, today, today's a big killer. Swift day. April, April 29th. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Yeah, but you could get a, you know, she has a line in a song called, Do you really want to know where I was April 29th? Is that the song Cornelia? Wait, 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 wait. I take that back. So fuck you. Hey, yeah, really? really? Wait, like, she's cooking. We're still workshopping the Taylor Swift one, but I can keep that in my back pocket for another year. I absolutely, I, I think we're going with the, and then will this work on an Instagram story? Oh my God, that's all that matters. I need responses from girls. That's really all that. It's all Why don't you save Taylor Swift for your Instagram story? I could do both, maybe. <laughs> all right, we're going, we're going with the anniversary tweet. Sent, sent, sent. Everybody relax. Go look at it. I got there out of retweet. <laughs> no. <laughs> for my birthday. No, we've already done too much for your birthday. Vince, it's Tommy's birthday. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday, Tommy. We're done. Thank you. How old are you now? 27? Oh, 28. 28 wow. today. Great yeah. age. Great age. Many? I'm honestly. I'm honestly amazed. That's it? What? I'm amazed you didn't die at 27. All, know, all geniuses die so at 27. Talented, so yeah. talented. I was very scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the tweet's up. Tweet is up. Office manager Brett has liked the tweet. I repeat, office manager Brett has liked it. It's we did our best. What? What's up? What's up? No, I think that's it. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. yeah. Turn our camera on. That's it. What? Huh? Yeah. What? What's up? Oh, nothing. Why? You got anything else going on with you? Or? No, why? What are you talking about? Nothing going on in your brain right now? No. no. Huh. Huh. Alright, yeah, that's the show. That's fine. What are you guys talking about? Nothing. <laughs> it's just a normal day. Just April, it's just regular. Why you guys? Why, why, it's what are you an doing? average April 29th. An average day. old April 29th. You're freaking me out. What? What? what it's just April 29th. It's just April 29th. Any old Usually April 29th. Usually you have something to say on April 29th and you're not doing it. Is it your birthday? Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> birthday <laughs> story. Thank you, all. Want me to post a story? Say, ladies, he's single. It's his birthday. He's 28. Maybe. <laughs> and you, you survived the 27 Club? 
I know a little well, depressing. Congrats on I that. Wasn't, I wasn't talented enough. Sorry, so, uh, folks. I didn't know media. No, no. How would you? How would I expect you to know that? <laughs> oh, all right. Well, hey, happy birthday, brother. Thank you, brother. Here's your birthday present. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Uh, so you wanted yeah, to pick? Cake. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make a fan's day. Ah, uh, beautiful. Good work, everybody. Happy birthday, Tommy. <laughs> How much would it be for you to direct one of my OnlyFans scenes? Me? Yeah. If, yeah, if I'm doing oh, it, I need Glenny as, oh I need as director. I need director. You would Yeah. Oh, I'll be from Spielberg. I'll do everything. <laughs> Oh, I would direct it a heartbeat. All right, when you come back to Vegas, let's do this. What's the rate for that? For a directing role? Yeah. Do you have to show my face in the role? Yeah. 50. 50,000? Yeah. I would pay that. For a directing. Seriously. I would consider it. Yeah, I okay. would do that for 10,000. Offers 000. off the table, Tom. <laughs> oh. Directing it. Oh. Offers off the table, Tom. <laughs> to direct? Offers off the table. <laughs>